morning morning everyone this is susan from garden interest and i am going to be doing a few little things this morning um, it's a beautiful saturday morning and i'm getting ready to uh, do some freshening up of a fairy garden uh, replace a center um, tree stump that is rotten in the way and we need to replace it and uh, with something new and also I have another um, Platter in the Catalea area um, That I need to freshen up as well with some flowers So as we go through I'll show you what they look like now and then we'll show you how we go about um, Fixing up those three areas in the garden today so let me switch the camera around and I will show you what we are going to do today. Okay, so this is the fairy garden. And as you've seen in one of my latest video, we've been having a lot of rain. And before that, we had like a, a really uh, dry um, season where we hardly had any rain. And then all of a sudden we got tons of rain. So we are totally grateful for the rain. However, succulents don't like too much water. So this is what happens. And so my fairy garden doesn't look as pretty as it used to. So we need to give her a little fresh look. So this is one area and I will show you the next. So this is the one in the courtyard. The center stump that I was telling you about just now that we're going to have to replace. And it's such a nice stump, but it did its term. But it's rottening down in here, and it's also rottening in different areas, so it's time to replace it. And that's what happened, guys. You know, when we have wood in our um, scape, sometimes it lasts for a while, and then, you know, it all depends on the environment. So this is the other platter that I want to freshen up because we've lost a lot of plants in there and it's time. It's time to give it a fresh look. So guys, as I said, these bench area is rotten in a way. Things aren't looking great anymore. It's just not pleasing to the eye as well as this table. We're going to be replacing all of that in the near future but for right now we're going to focus on these three things repotting this fairy garden this pot and this centerpiece here yeah so we're just going to replace that and we're going to detach all of these orchids from there and reattach them to another stump we'll be right back Okay guys, so these plant stump that I was planning on using for my courtyard where the one I was telling you that was rottening out. Uh, I don't particularly like how that looks. So we're going to go uh, hunting <laughs> around my neighborhood here um, looking to see if we see any of the nearby um, trees and stuff that's on the side of the road that we could possibly um, get a piece of. To use in the garden and that's of the uh, I guess you call that um, it's like a ficus it's kind of like a birch wood kind of uh, material it does rotten over a period of time but it does last for a little while and so hopefully that will be something nice until I can get a proper replacement so here we go got my gardener with me hi Cleon <laughs> so we're getting in the car and we're gonna go and see if we can find something i don't have my husband's truck so gotta use my my betsy so here we go okay so i think the first thing we'll do is go this way and see if we can look on the bushes there and see if we see anything. And the, the only side 
thing is it's been raining so I'm gonna have to see I'm hoping we find something near gonna go at it yeah there it is so I'm looking at this right here and I think that might work so we're gonna give it a shot guys we'll be right back yep so there he is my faithful gardener cutting into the tree that we found we think this is gonna be a nice piece so we'll be right back to show you what we've rescued Okay guys, so I had to take my car back because we got lucky with the property right next to us. We found a tree limb that looks like it will work. And that's what we're going to we're going to work with for now. So guys, this is the stump that we got. And my garden is going too fast. I can't catch him. <laughs> so, this is the baby we found next to us. And I'm hoping it will last for a little bit. But this is what we're going to use. So, be right back. Okay, so we've managed to get a tree trunk. Now, we know it's pretty big. So, we may have to cut it down a bit more in order to fit it here so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start working on this so we'll just have you watch while we do this uh, change out and enjoy as we muscle our way through this <laughs> and get this uh, looking good again hopefully the new tree trunk will last like this did for a while be right back okay here we go. It's going to start just taking stuff off. Sorry guys, I should have put my mic on, but hopefully you can hear me. Uh, what I'm going to do is take the holes and wet this once we remove this so that we can detach the orchids and put them onto the other one. So we'll take it out and we'll just wet it down with the hose as wet as we can get it so that the roots will soften a bit and we can work on taking it off. So let's just lift this out if we can. Yeah. Okay, so based on the look of this, 
Okay, run into a little snag battery. We have to get a new battery. So just bear with us, we'll be right back. Okay guys, so I've put you in the view of us prepping the new tree stump. And uh, it's a little work, but we'll get it done. We're trying to reduce the size so that when we put it in the pot, it will um, fit. Okay, so basically we're molding in the middle of the pot and filling, pulling some dirt to the sides of the pot so that when we do put this in there, it goes down a little bit and then we can use the some rocks and 
um, soils are compacted in. Uh, that's one of the reasons too why it tends to rot over a period of time. But what I'm gonna try and do, it's a fast drying uh, spray. Um, and guys, this is not really the right one, but this is what I have on hand and this is what I'm using. So it's the Rust-Oleum. And it doesn't have to be colored, but this is what I have. This is what I'm using. And you can use it on wood. And it primes and paints. And it bonds. So it's a fast drying indoor outdoor use. And it's a Rust Oleum uh, multi purpose spray. So I'm just doing this so that it helps to seal the bottom of where we cut it when we were. Res rescuing this beautiful piece. So I'm just going to sort of spray on there, kind of like the height of where I think I will need to kind of protect the wood a little bit. So that will dry in two seconds. Let me get my glass. We're basically so that will come to about here, and then that piece will be up. So hopefully it'll be the right height. Okay, let's do this. <laughs> now, now we need mighty strength. portion of this and I'll try and lift here. See if we can just rest it on the edge of this. Alright, ready? One, two, three. Put it on the edge. On the edge of the pot. Okay. 
Could you get smaller rocks? Might be okay though. <laughs> oh, excuse me. <laughs> so I'm using stones, I'm using bricks, whatever I can get that's heavy and on hand. Kind of stabilize Give me another. because this bad boy here is heavy don't underestimate that it took two of us to lift this it is heavy in place and now we're going to work on taking off the the orchids off that and we're going to fill this in now as well Now we're gonna put some pea pebbles just to dress the surface around the trunk.
you guys can see that, but I'm gonna bring you in a little closer so you can see how it's looking. So that's how it's looking now, guys. Hope you can see that clearly. But that's how it is at the moment. So just bear with us as we now uh, proceed to wet the old stump and start to take um, the orchid off. We'll be right back. Okay guys, so we're wetting down the uh, orchids. These are known as the banana orchids. So we're wetting it down, drenching it really, really good to try and soften up the roots. Just to get it loosened a bit as best as we can. We will lose some roots doing this, but it will catch that up and reattach itself. So this is how we do this. And then I'm gonna see now if I can at least start removing removing them and show you how we do it. Just give me a second. Hold down. And then I'm going to try and remove one of these. Let's go for the big bad boy. And I know I'm, I'm, I've always been challenging with dealing with the big stuff first, but I think I should do the smaller one first. But let's, let's just see how we do this. So it's just trying working in. I'm going to try my best not to um, pull it apart. I want it as just one, but it's all attached in the back here. So let me just loosen this. And it's all, see all the root system here? So I'm going to have to wet that too. Just bear with me. And don't worry, they're hardy. <laughs> they can handle a little abuse. Gonna be hard. Let's deal with some other easier ones. Get my nippers. Second. So guys, I know this looks hard, but it's not coming off easy. So I'm actually loosening up quite a few of the roots by doing this. And see if that will kind of help take it off easier. There we go. So I'm just going in the direction and way, and way the roots have grown on it and just pull it off. So that's it. That's one down. So we'll be right back after we get all these other ones off. Okay, guys. So we managed to take the orchids off. We're gonna re 
be attached now. So this is the big piece. And as you can see, we managed to get it off and hold. And it's already got this big hole in there. So I'm going to try my best to attach it back in a similar way as how it was before. And then we use what you call the um, plant ties. It's a little stretchy, but it works. And it does look ugly at first, but over the years, you can actually cut it off once the roots attach to whatever you're attaching it to. I'm just cutting the length that I think will at least wrap around it maybe once or I doubt it'll be twice, but we're gonna try. Okay, so that's by me wrapping it twice, but I'm gonna do it another length like I just did and wrap it again because it's a good size orchid. So I kind of want to make sure that I have it um, as tight as possible. And so if you notice, I'm going on different angles to make sure it's secured. All I do is just take my scissors and just tidy it up a little bit from where the string hangs down. So this one is on there a bit and may have to tighten it a little more. Because it's sometimes if it's like this and I don't feel comfortable, I'll take a zip tie afterwards. And just really like the long and attached couple zip ties and just pull it on really tight so i'm just basically putting them in place now and then i'll do a little more snug tight fit as we go along let's see i may have to trim this off oops sorry <laughs> okay can i see the other big piece These were here, and I think these are the small ones. So what I'm going to do is drop this one down a little. I'm just repositioning, guys. Yeah. I think that would be nice there. I put this one here. No. And then we can just put the smaller one probably somewhere up there. We just have to get the ladder.
go a bit slow. Like I said, guys, it doesn't look pretty. Just make sure you're seeing this. I'll bring you in closer once we, we've got them all attached. And uh, I'll be right back as soon as we attach them all so you can get a closer look. Okay guys, so while Cleon is wetting them, because we have now reattached all of the orchids. Look at them. You would swear they never did move, right? I mean, look at them. They are attached, reattached to the new tree uh, trunk. And we're hoping and crossing our fingers and hoping that this will last us at least another five or so years. So let me step back a bit. And as you can see, I have placed the little decor around there. So it says, friends are the flowers in the garden of life. And that's the little birdie there, a few little color stones, nothing much. But let me step back, guys, so you can see how it looks. Isn't that beautiful? Just love it. love 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 the way it looks okay guys so that's this project done we got two more to go so we'll be right back all right guys so we're getting now to do this platter and i'm just going to take out a few things i'm going to remove this of course and this is just sitting on a rock or I should say a paver, stepping stone, that I put in the center. So I'm just gonna clear this a bit. No, leave that, that's fine. Yeah, I can leave that. I'm just gonna clear these things off here. Some of these things we can reuse. And we're just gonna plant it up so it looks really nice. Did I bring some, some little rocks from off the back porch? Off the back porch, I think I have in a little clay pot. <laughs> I forgot one of my things I'm going to use, so it's just telling him where to find it. Okay, so. Sorry guys, just trying to get all my stuff here. I'm just taking all of this out. I'm just gonna test the soil and see. It feels good. I just have to soften it up a bit and reposition.
Okay, guys. Apologies for that. Had to. I was a little disorganized <laughs> getting this part done. Um, had to go get my gloves. And so, like I said, I was going to freshen up the soil a little bit. So what I'm doing is just adding some of the Osmocote. Hope you can see that Osmocote. And it lasts, it fertilizes, and I think this one lasts 68 months. Yeah, six months. Tells you right there, six months. So, I know this video is very long, guys, but I promised I would do these things. So, I am doing them today. So guys, I know I haven't mentioned, but I've been having some issues with my knees. And so it's been really challenging dealing with stuff in the garden as long as I would love to, but I'm still here. That's when you love the gardening, right? So I've softened up the soil and I'm hoping you're able to see this. I'm hoping if you can bring it in a little closer. Yeah. So I'm hoping you, yeah, you can see this. And, um, okay. So I'm gonna be using my favorite blooming flowers that we can find. Guys, you probably wonder why am I using the same plants over and over and over? Well, we have an issue. It's not like in the United States where we have so many options. We basically can only get certain plants here because of the humidity and because uh, we're not allowed to bring in every type of plants here in the Cayman Islands. So unfortunately we work with what we can um, and is allowed to have. And so that's why I'm using these most of the time because I just love the way that these bloom. So basically I'm gonna plant four of these in here. And I think I'm gonna put a, this one here tends to do like a spill to the front. And that will be all I'm doing for this platter here. And they will spread out and be really beautiful. So hope that you will enjoy this. All right, so let's get cracking. So I've dug in here and I'm going to place this. Woo, look at the ants, guys. Anyway, I'm gonna have to put some ant killer thing in here. And it's really dry, so I'm gonna have to wet this down really good once I've planted everything in. But that's what comes with the summer ants and all those wonderful things. They are all enjoying the heat, like everybody else, I guess. <laughs> so, I'm just gonna put this one in here. I just break up the bottom so it can give the plant a good chance to grow. here it 
it's really dry dry guys this this really needs a good drenching and that's why they look a bit if you notice they look a bit thirsty and usually i tend to drench them or wet them down before doing this but i'm going to just make sure to get really watered in once i'm done planning this up really nicely and if you notice the way in which i'm planning these i'm not putting two of the same because at the front i want to be able to see when i'm walking around different colors going on this is very close to this one so this is a more of a, a magenta pink this is, has a little more of a purple hue to it and this is like a orange with yellow and then this is with the stripe uh, white and pink And if you notice, I'm kind of softening it up because it's just so dry. And I want, when I'm watering it in, I want it to be penetrating through the soil quite quickly and um, getting its good drink. So now I'm gonna clear right here, just smooth it out a bit where I can put back this where did I put it here it is so this will go back right here guys and this is an orchid and it's blooming and so what I'll do next is put a little bit of the peak pebbles in here just to dress it up a little bit and then I'll water it in So, as you can see, let me water it down a little bit, and it will look really, really pretty in a day or two. Okay, next, I'll be right back. Okay, so right before I water it, I said I was going to water it now, but... I was giving it some thought. I need to put in some um, cute things. So I have this that says peace. And a little bird that was broken off in the ornament thing that I had. So what I'll do, just to give it a little cute look, is just place that there. And I'll take the bird and just kind of place the bird right there. Another thing you could do that's interesting 
just add a few more stones in different sections just to give it a little more of a you know touch we'll put another two rocks in here I have to put some more in here eventually it'll spread and cover but for right now just to fill in the gap just to give it a little more decor and to dress it up but looking at it from the front here it's looking really pretty it looks so inviting it does look peaceful and i'm just going to drench her now and look at that guys the rocks are shining through everything looks so beautiful I'm just going to hold the hose there, really give her a good drink, right where I plant them, and just count for like maybe five. I know they don't look the very best right now, but when they do open up and bloom again, I will definitely do another short clip or video so you guys can see it. But that's it, guys. Apologies for the music in the background, but this is that's somebody on the street there making all that noise. But that's it, guys. Okay, so we're now going to redo the fairy garden a little bit. And we're taking out a few of these. I'm not going to um, take out a whole lot um, simply because it's so hot in the day right now. And I just want to kind of freshen it up, like I said. So I'm going to take out these that are not looking so hot. And like this. And just take out any, you know, leaves and stuff that I see that aren't looking so great. And then I'm gonna put in some fresh um, succulents in here and see how it looks when I do that. So I'm just taking these, and I'm gonna leave the rocks where they are. I'm just gonna work around everything. In the back, it's looking good. These aren't looking so great, but I'm gonna trim those up and just do little fillers in here and just uh, fill it in with some more pea pebbles. So we'll see how that how that goes, okay? So let me get cracking on that, soften up these a little bit. And with this, I'm gonna use the scissors because the scissors allows me to dig the hole. So because succulents are so fragile and they just break apart easily, some of them. So down here, I have a couple new succulents I'm going to be using. I've got my scissors. And so I'm going to use these in there. And because I have some that's like this, I'm thinking I'm more leaning towards using like these towards the front. And so I'm going to take these now and sort of position them and see how they look. Just to give it a little filler. We'll put this one and probably put something I like that there that's cute but this has a little coloration in it it's very similar to this and I do want to break break it up a bit so I think I might just play with it a little bit and put maybe put this here And put these two over here we'll see we'll just work with that and see how it looks okay so i'm just as you can see how far the scissors go in gives me a little playroom and i can just do this and it'll help me 
get a little depth in there easy so that I can put these in because they're soft I like to break off a lot of this when I'm potting it or planting it I should say not potting but planting So I'm holding it down at the bottom and then I'm going to see it's already breaking apart. They're very, very touchy. <laughs> so now I'm going to straighten it up. I'm sorry, but my hands are in the way. I just got to get a hold of this first. Yep. So taking the force of pushing it in with the soil and my hand. So that's that. That's planted. And I'm going to do this one. This doesn't need to take much off. Again, I'm going to take the scissors, create a hole. It's not too deep. Just take and drop it in. reposition my turtle a little bit I think that one will look cute right here You see how dry the soil is, guys? That's how hot it's, it is already. I mean, we've had a few days of rain and it stopped. I would say we've had maybe rain last night for a little bit. But bet between last night and the weekend showers we had, it must have not rained maybe two or three days. Um, I mean, last night we had rain and look how dry the soil is in this. That's just <laughs> how hot it is, guys. It's, it's, it's crazy hot. I know all around the world, well, not all around the world, but mostly in the States and stuff, everybody is, you know, feeling somewhat the change in weather and how hot it is and, um, you know, have same sort of challenges like we are experiencing. Um, so I'm gonna just take and tuck these in almost side by side because I kind of want to have them you know be each other buddies here and I'm gonna just take and tuck just a little in here grab a little soil And just fill in as firm as you can down keep it sturdy and then I'm just going to just trying to blow that out but it'll come out eventually just to dress it up so now we're gonna just lift my turtle a little bit I'm gonna keep him out because I want to put some more of those pebble rocks in here now and just finish dressing it up.
So you see I'm taking some more of these uh, colored stones and I'm just dropping them, spreading them back in areas that needed filling back in just to freshen up a little bit in here. I'm gonna put the turtle back. Because he needs his home, he needs to get back there. And then I'm just gonna put a few pebbles back in the back there as well. Just to, like I said, freshen it up a bit. Just to freshen it up a bit. Because it just needs a little something going on in there. So that's it, guys. Just gonna wet it down a bit and just trim, trim uh, some of these dead stuff off. Just so that we can get rid of that ugliness. To take my gloves off, guys, for this. See how this one is just leaning? I'm just going to remove that completely. And don't worry if you're not able to clean it all up, you know, like perfectly. You just want to take some of the dead stuff out just to give it a little look, fresh look again. Okay, from my angle, it looks like it's okay. guys so that's that just a little water down and she's good to go again Okay guys, so that is the end of the fairy garden. So we just give it a little freshers and we can call it a day. So we did the center uh, tree stump, we replaced that. We did the fairy garden as we promised and we also repotted the orange uh, planter uh, bowl type pot in the courtyard area. So I hope that you guys truly was inspired with this um, video today and you can tell I'm tired. <laughs> that was a lot of work guys, but it was rejuvenating. It was really nice. It was fun. Uh, both myself and Cleon, my gardener, really enjoy little projects, little you know things like this because we love to see when it looks so pretty again when we take something that is you know not looking its best and then we fix it up trim it up or repot or redo um, things like we did today um, we do enjoy uh, doing stuff like that so again thank you guys for subscribing those of you who have and are my new subscribers welcome 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 and those that are visiting us for the first time please do subscribe we have always have something going on in the garden something interesting such so just updates from time to time and sometimes a little storytelling <laughs> so again thank you so much guys for your support for always uh, caring sharing your wonderful comments um, you know always being there um, and enjoying 
what we have to share. And I hope that these little DIY projects and um, motivational things and inspirations and encouragement for you to also beautify your garden has uh, really inspired you fully with what we have done today. So thanks again. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you guys. And we'll see you in the next one. Goodbye for now.